Airbus has just detonated a bombshell in the aviation industry. The new A350 will be launched with the groundbreaking Trent XWB84 engine. This new upgrade engine isn't just the world's most efficient large aircraft engine in operation, it is perfect partners who are set to spearhead a revolution towards a cleaner, more sustainable, and immensely profitable future. Why is this new engine upgrade sending shockwaves through the aviation world? How will this engine be upgraded? Let's find out. Before we delve into the main parts of the episode, let's explore the purposes behind Rolls-Royce's engine upgrade. With the new XWB84 engine upgrade program, Rolls-Royce has confirmed that most of the testing has been completed and over 100 test flights have been successfully conducted. For the first major purpose, Rolls-Royce CEO Tufan Ergenbiljic stated that the company plans to invest over 1 billion pounds, approximately $1.25 billion, into the product lines supplying exclusive engines for the A330neo and A350. In the case of the Trent 1000, this investment aims to compete with GE Aerospace's GNX-1B engine on the 787. This massive plan will also include the upgrade of the XWB-84 engine. Secondly, this investment is a crucial part of the engine manufacturer's new strategic vision, aiming to quadruple annual operating profits to $3.5 billion by 2027 and to increase the operating profit margin from around 5% to 14%, a level the manufacturer has never reached before. This investment also follows significant losses related to the decline in long-haul traffic during the COVID period and the costly development of fixes for durability issues that have affected the Trent 1000, particularly since 2016. For green purposes, the new engine will improve fuel consumption to make the aircraft more economical to operate, increase the engine's overall performance, including thrust and reliability, reduce emissions to comply with stricter environmental regulations and contribute to sustainability efforts. These goals align with the broader objectives of enhancing operational efficiency, reducing costs, and minimizing environmental impact. According to Rolls-Royce, the upgraded Trent XWB84 engine is expected to be certified by the end of this year before being put into service in 2025 to equip Airbus A350-900 aircraft. Rolls-Royce had planned to deliver the initial power plants to SIA by late 2019, but that date has quietly slipped. They will be primarily used on the A350-900 Ultra Long Range, ULR for short fleet, this airline added. This version is equipped with only 161 seats, compared to 359 seats on SIA's standard Airbus aircraft. The ULR can fly up to 9,700 nautical miles, about 18,000 kilometers, compared to 8,300 nautical miles for the standard variant. On such long routes, a 1% fuel saving can provide significant operational and cost benefits. However, this engine will be suitable for all A350-900, not just the ULR variant, and can be used in combination with the existing XWB84 to simplify in-service operations. If you've watched this far, thank you. The new XWB84 engine is truly an intriguing engine with a potential future. We'll turn to the next part to see what'll be upgraded. However, your support helps this video reach more aviation enthusiasts. So if you can please like, share the video, and subscribe if you're new here. Simon Burr, Director of Engineering, Technology, and Safety, highlighted Rolls-Royce's focus on further enhancing the fuel performance of the 84 variant engine, which is already successful in its current form. The Enhanced Performance, EP for short, variant of the XWB84 was introduced at the Singapore Air Show in 2016, with Singapore Airlines placing the first order. This EP model incorporates technologies from the higher thrust XWB97 engine used on the A350-1000 and insights from the advanced test program. It aims to improve fuel consumption by up to 1% and reduce carbon dioxide emissions compared to the current XWB84 engines. Rolls-Royce is also planning additional improvements by introducing turbine discs made from a new proprietary super alloy branded RR1073, which was originally developed for the Ultrafan program. These discs are designed to withstand temperatures around 50 Kelvin hotter than the current RR1000 material, providing a more predictable lifespan. The EP model will also feature a new process for redistributing cooling air 
through the high pressure turbine blades, significantly reducing temperatures. Turbine discs made from this new material are already in production and will be introduced to both the XWB84 and 97 engines next year. Other upgrades compared to the standard 84 variant include improved turbine cooling and aerodynamics enhancements to the secondary air and sealing systems between stages and further optimization of the turbine blade clearance control system. Additionally, Rolls-Royce is working on improvements to the Trent XWB97 engine to address durability issues in hot and sandy environments. A new sand-resistant coating is being developed for delivery by the end of this year, and the high-pressure turbine blades will be upgraded with modified casting layers to reduce metal temperatures. If you're still unsure about what makes the upgrade special, let's analyze the specifications of the standard XWB84 engine. The standard variant with a thrust rating of 84,200 pounds is specifically designed for the Airbus A35900 to deliver optimal performance on long haul flights. Currently, there are 295 Airbus aircraft equipped with this Rolls Royce engine, which supports a maximum takeoff weight, MTAU for short, of 617,295 pounds. It incorporates advanced technologies to enhance thermodynamic performance and durability. Notably, it achieves about a 15% reduction in fuel consumption compared to older engines, thanks to its innovative design. The engine features a large fan and a sophisticated cooling system, allowing it to operate efficiently under demanding conditions. Additionally, the Trent XWB84 is engineered to reduce noise and emissions, meeting stringent environmental standards. Overall, this engine contributes significantly to the performance of the A35900 helping airlines cut costs and boost operational efficiency. Although the new engine offers significant economic and environmental benefits, its market entry has faced some challenges. Rolls-Royce initially planned to deliver the first Trent XWB84 EP engines to Singapore Airlines by the end of 2019, but this schedule has been delayed. SIA now expects to receive these new engines in the first quarter of 2025. Rolls-Royce has declined to comment on the reasons for the delay of the EP variant, but stated, the Trent XWB is the most efficient large aircraft engine available today and is recognized as the industry standard for reliability. We are proud to power Singapore Airlines and are working closely with them to support the operation of the A350. The delay could be attributed to durability issues encountered with the Trent 1000, which consumed significant technical resources to resolve and the subsequent impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, which severely affected long-haul travel. This challenge may become insignificant once the engine is launched with the new A350 version. It is worth looking forward to. In your opinion, are there any further obstacles or limitations for this engine? Additionally, the latest information indicates that the Airbus A32 XLR is ready to enter service as soon as the European Aviation Safety Agency issues its type certification. On July 19, 2024, in Cologne, Germany, Florian Giedermet, the executive director of EASA, presented the type certification documentation for the XLR aircraft to its chief engineer, Isabel Bloy. Although the new aircraft has received certification with the CFM Leap 1A engines, certification for the Pratt and Whitney engine version will be delayed. Christian Scherer, CEO of the commercial aircraft business of Airbus, said, Here comes the A321 XLR, a differentiated product that brings new value to the market, expanding the possibilities for our airline customers and passengers. With its long range, the A321 XLR enables a host of new direct routes, offering natural growth opportunities to our customers and the traveling public. It provides airlines with the efficiency of commonality inside the A320 or A321 product range, and its versatile cabin has a range of service possibilities that are just unique. It is quintessential Airbus. This aircraft has a range of up to 4,700 nautical miles, supplying flexibility in the flights. Therefore, it will allow operators to offer non-stop long-haul flights to destinations around the globe where there isn't enough demand to justify a full wide-body jet. In addition, it burns 30% less fuel per seat than previous generation competitor aircraft and at roughly half the trip cost of modern wide bodies. To the recent, over 500 Airbus XLRs have been ordered, with customers including American Airlines, United Airlines, Qantas, Indigo, and Icelandair. What do you think about these two events? How do you think the future of the new 
A350 aircraft will unfold? Leave a comment below so we can discuss it. Thank you and see you next time.